hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn how to make a public or a static routing in react js so guys in another way we call it as route configuration or static routing configuration in react js so guys let's get started so guys now we need to create one home page about us page and contact us page okay so we have a home page let's create a about us and contact us page to for creating a public static route configuration so guys let's get back to our react application so let's move under components where front end inside this front end we have home.js right so let us copy and paste over here control cv and rename this file as about and change its function name about okay so guys you can see this about and export about and this i am about page so same way let's copy and create for one contact so press f2 to rename contact dot js change that contact done so our page is created guys and now let's go to our app dot js to call the public route for this so over here we have home let's copy and paste and this will be your about and the second will be contact okay give a url for this about and this will be contact done let's import this guys so go top let's copy and paste over here give about so what you have given over here okay so this about and contact copy this and go to component front end and inside front end we have directly called about about the page name and here contact dot js file okay so these files are there cool so now guys we will go to our navbar so this navbar over here we will declare that let's go to our about us where you will find that we have included navbar okay so let's move to this layouts frontend navbar so layouts frontend we have navbar dot js file all set let's copy this and paste remove this active and give about about copy and paste and make it to contact where we'll make this also contact save and now guys you can see the output so let's click on about you can see about us page contact us page perfect so guys now we we will see how to create a route configuration okay so route configuration in the sense like we will not go and type all the routes in this method we will create a route list so let me just start guys okay so first let's go to our src folder inside this we will create one public route file so public route.js file hit enter now a simple create a function guys so before that import react from react create a function with the name so public route open and close function where you are going to export default the public route okay let's return open and close function where you will call route so if you are using route you need to import that import route from react router dom okay and inside this guys we are going to get all the rest so rest of the things where render is equal to open and close curly brace where your properties so props arrow function 
where you are going to one layout we are going to create that so let's create one front end layout so dot 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 your props okay and you are using rest so we need to pass that in this function rest perfect guys so now let's copy this public route and go to your app.js public route close okay so let's type path is equal to where open and name is equal to you will tell home so guys now all the path whatever we declare inside this public route it will go directly over here so let's comment this right now and to create all this path about us contact us you need to create a route list for this guys so first let's move to our public route so which comes under this and this is going to your front end layout so you need to create one layout guys and call all the routes inside this layout so before that creating your front end layout you need to create a route list so let's create a public route list so public route list dot js file and as simple guys as you have created under your routes so same we are going to create it so let's copy this to save the time let's take this close and make this to from routes to public route list copy and paste over here and now guys let's change this to exact true name which will be home and the component so component colon home and this home you have to import it so as you have seen that in your app.js you have included this home right so let's move top this home about us contact us we need these three things so let's cut this control x and take to your over here okay so same we are going to call for the about and the url which we have created about guys copy paste for the contact also the name contact and the component also contact done guys so this is how we are going to create route list so how will you call this route so we have to connect that somewhere right so let me just close all the file so we'll be very much clear so first is app.js let's go below this is the path now let's go to public route okay second step third step was our route guys okay and the fourth step which we have to create now that is our front end layout so let's go to um, layouts front end and inside this front end we will create a file with the front end layout.js okay done now guys you need to import this front end layout so let's import front end layout from so you are in the root src directory now let's go to layout front end then dot layouts front end your front end layout save let's go over here so guys as you remember that we have created a layout for our admin also so let me just copy from there so let's copy a layout from here and paste we don't require more things in this so let me just remove that okay let's remove very simple guys so this is our div start and this is the div of this second layout let's remove that id so there should be no confusion in this cool so now guys we need a navbar so this navbar 
so from where we have to import let's import that navbar import navbar you need to just copy this okay from where go to our home page so under components front end you have home page right so you can see that you have included the navbar in your home page so let me just copy that path so let's get back to our front end layout and import that path guys that's it paste it done so a navbar is connected now so this navbar is working let's get back to this switch so all this switch route we are going to use over here and redirect we are not using let's remove that and this switch and this route guys so from where you are getting you are getting from routes so let me just show you src routes this public routes copy this your public route list and go to your front end layout and paste so call the path also that routes where you will tell public route list done copy this public route list and send over here so this is your public route list where you are going to check that all your routed data all the route data you are going to check where under that route you are going to tell all the component and from that you will assign the key id then route data of path route data of exact value the name and the properties we are getting it okay and this will be your route data component done and now guys main thing we are forgetting that is the function name so instead of master layout we will mention this as front end layout copy paste done guys so now let's check the output let's get back to our app.js and this is our public route let's make sure you have imported that we did not import import it guys so import public route from the current page only okay that is over here public routes dot js file save and now let's see the output okay let's move on the home page so it's telling module not found okay so the, you can under this file we cannot found this about so let's get back let's go to public route list so okay this component is not able to find so get one step back and go to components okay so we have inputted wrong just give one dot extra guys so it will call the correct path and yep let's save let's refresh once again perfect guys so you can see that home page about us page contact us page but there are two nav bars why i'll just show you because in our front end layout globally we have declared one nav bar right so all this nav bar whatever route we call for the public route for front end we are declared nav bar globally over here so guys it's shown and in all the pages like home page you have declared nav bar right so you need to remove that so we don't need to declare in each pages we have made it globally nav bar and go to about us remove that perfect save guys so guys we have successfully done with this routing and let's get back let's close everything let's go to src app.js and let's go to our admin dashboard guys once so let's move to admin forward slash dashboard hit enter you can see that you cannot access the admin dashboard right or let's move to view product only okay we cannot go there why because it's calling the main path so what you have to do let's take this admin private route and paste before our public route okay so this is the solution just you need to shuffle that up and down that's it guys so done 
now let's refresh perfect so you can see the admin also and let's go for the front end where you can see home about us contact us perfect guys so we have successfully done how to create a public route with configuration so we call it also as static routing configuration okay so that means we have created a separate routing like this for our public routes so in further video we'll be learning about private routes also so guys let's continue next video with our uh, fetching of products and showing by category wise so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share